Right. That is uh, the deputy president himself saying that uh, we want to discuss hope and hope for our children and for Kenyans. Kwa sababu hata kama wako na godfathers, wako na god the father. Let me start with you Nurdin. What do you think about uh, that statement by the, by the deputy? As a young man when I see the deputy saying that I am left um, I'm happy in a way. Mm. What do I mean? Because young men in Kenya or let's say the youth, let me say the youth, let me be general. Yeah. The youth we have for such a long time tried to have economic empowerment. Yeah. Be it social, political and economic. Yeah. Now, where we sit right now our politics is always local. It's always machinations of the big five communities. So if you end up, you, you don't come from any of them, you and your, po you and your politics and whatever, mm -hmm. you go nowhere. Now he's trying to change the narrative and he's bringing about the hustlers and the dynasty. Mm -hmm. Now in doing that, to some extent, as the youth, I would urge them to take advantage of this situation. What do I mean? Every electioneering period, we are used as ponds as ladders for people to go where they want to go. Now, every other side, mm -hmm. the other side is saying, don't take the wheelbarrows and water view. Yeah. And he's saying, I'm giving you wheelbarrows. What do they have to offer? Now, if the youth sit or stand at a better position, they need to do one thing, and that is take the opportunity right now. Everyone is fighting for the youth. Now, it is always about their interest. We need, and I'm going to be selfish tonight, we need to be selfish as well, because we want to be empowered, be it political, be it economically. So we need to see who between the two sides will take us to where we want to go. Now, it doesn't mean you follow them blindly, because they have for so long used and dumped us. They have, they have seduced, used and abused us. Now, it is time for us to check where, because politics is all about interest. Where is my interest going to lie? So you see opportunity I in do. what the deputy president is doing? Yes, I do. As a, as, as a youth? Yes, I do. Because you can tell, finally, we are, tr we are trying to, for the first time, the youth and women, thanks to the two-third gender rule, yeah. are coming to the table. These are two groups okay. that have always been marginalized. Let me, let me come to you, George. What do you think about, uh, about the deputy? Do you s concur with him? What is your stand? Do you see opportunity? <laughs> in what the deputy president does. Thank you, Ram. Um, in as much as I also concur with Nurdin, but my question is, when we are talking about hustler, mm -hmm. are you supposed to propagate the same narrative also to the people that you are supposed to empower so that they should not be hustlers? Because when you are talking about hustler and you are giving them, you know, the wheelbarrows, I admit it is good because it is going to empower somebody. Mm -hmm. But you see, you should not keep these people that you are reminding them that they are hustlers. You should now make them know that you are a hustler, as the deputy president says that he was a hustler, which I admit that it, he was a hustler. Mm -hmm. But now that is not a hustler at the moment because he's not a hustler at the moment. Now I need to see him do something better. You know, um, oh, you're saying he should not make, maintain the status quo, that uh, the youths, he should empower people to be better, no, not just to remain as hustlers. He shouldn't do that. I would, I would have loved when I see now the deputy president saying that because I was a hustler, mm -hmm. I've made it, I'm now going to make somebody not to be the same hustler I was, but now to do something greater than what he did before. So. I accept what Nurdin is saying that it is empowering some people, but until when will we empower people on the basics, the things that we know? Yes, they will put something on the table, but they're not going to make something great. I love one thing, that there is nothing for us without us. So when you are talking about hustling, we have hustled up to a given level. Now we need greater things. Not that we are told that we are leaders of tomorrow. And that, that tomorrow is not even coming. Somebody is making me. When I was a, 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 a border -bord rider, this person is still confirming to me that I should be a border -bord rider by giving me another motorbike. <laughs> Your response. <laughs> let me respond. I, I, I do let, let me respond. <laughs> yes. Away from the wheelbarrow, the wrecks, and the border border that he's giving out, the opportunity I'm talking about is simple. Under Article 100 of the Constitution talks about <coughs> representation in Parliament, women, youth,
people living with disabilities and marginalized communities. Mm -hmm. Now, like I was saying, the women and the youth have always, for, for the longest time ever, they have always been marginalized. What do I mean? When you come to party families, normally they can't pay the party fees. That's number one, for nomination, let's say. Mm -hmm. And then number two, they never get a fair chance for the nominations. Number three, when, it's, uh, when they decide they want to nominate someone to represent the youth, they send someone who's 45, 50, 60 years. How is that person and I? We're, we're, we're technically in two different worlds, you see. So what I'm saying, he says he's a hustler. Fine. Now, how did he become a hustler? He was a hustler, right? He then came from somewhere. Yes. Then how did he get to where he is? He used someone. Let me, let, let, let me, let, let me quote a member of parliament from Nyeri, yeah. Gunjiri Wambugu. Yeah. He said this, and I quote, when... He, that is the deputy president, William yeah. Bruto, was a hustler in university. Yeah. He was not given um, Kokoteni by President Moi. Yeah. He was given land. Yes. Why can't he give these people land yeah. so that they can become like him today? End of quote. Is this the form of empowerment that Kenyan is no. addressing what no. member parliament has said? Let me tell you something. He was given, they say, a car and land. Yes. He's given out wheelbarrows. That is what he has to offer. He's not more. That's what he's saying. So what I'm saying, whatever we want, the empowerment we want, will never be handed over to us. There is an oh, you, oh, oh, you're saying he's not more. He, yeah. This is what he can yes. offer I'm, as a deputy president. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. What I'm saying is he will never empower you fully. Nobody in that political class will empower you fully. The youth are the only ones who can empower themselves. And if an opportunity arises where you can strike gold and get to where you want to go, mm -hmm. You use it. What do I mean? He is bound to try and converse himself with the young people. Now, this is the time I ask my fellow young men and women, wake up from the slumber you are in, because the only way you can change your situation is if you go for those positions. If we maintain electing the same people, we'll never, things will never change. You need to wake up and challenge for the positions. He wants to open an opportunity for you to take. Why not take it? Speaking of opportunities that are being taken, the National Assembly Minority Whip, yeah. that is uh, Honorable Jeanette Mohammed, yeah. he spoke yesterday and he said, and I quote, Ruto is running a dangerous narrative of hustler that intends to divide this country into the haves and the have-nots. Uh, grouping the hustlers is in preparation of anarchy in the country. End of quote. That's what he said. Now, um, in your in your view, do you agree with Honorable Dujet? And how, how divisive can uh, it be if one is called a hustler and another is called, um, you know, as part of a dynasty? Ram, is it divisive in any way? Is it, it? It is very divisive because when you categorize some people to be hustlers, and then some people will take themselves that because they are not categorized as hustlers, they are the haves, those who are in there. High ends. But and how, how, how does that divide Kenyans? In, 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 that, in what that's sense? That's what I'm saying. Ram, this is going to let some people be so much, uh, you know, that, that, you know, when we have a soldier and we have a civilian, mm -hmm. and we have a soldier who is armed, then we have a civilian who is not armed. And you realize that the civilian has got some, 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 some rights that are infringed. This person is going to be so much agile to an extent that this person does not think about the other person is armed. Now look at the, the narrative of the hustlers and those who are not hustlers. It is going to create a vacuum. And this vacuum, to some extent, will create a given form of anarchy. Where there is going to be widespread lawlessness where those who do not have are seeing the ones who have as Ah, what one our nyanyasa? Look at something like that. So yeah. they are going to be so much instigated to an extent that we are not going to see that development. Like I said, in my area of work as a social auditor, I would want to see a country where people are united, where we don't have the narrative of Asla, we don't have the narrative of dynasty. So what, 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 na what narrative do you want us to have? The narrative that I want us to have is to have a country that is united without divisive politics. Does being called a hustler divide Kenyans, in your view? To be honest, it does. Let me tell you something. You see, um, he is moving using the, f the famous quote, when the poor have nothing to eat, they turn on the rich. And mm. that, to some extent, is dangerous. Because we, God forbid, might go the wrong way, which is not good. What I believe in 
we need to have better policies. Let's not forget that he's still in government. He's a deputy mm -hmm. president, right? He's in the presidency. Yes. yes. So let us not forget that. Then number two, let us not allow ourselves to be hoodwinked or blindfolded from the fact that Jubilee has not delivered. And we are not asking the serious questions like the stadiums, like the laptops, and what have you, the pomp and color manifesto they launched. Now we are busy talking about the hustler and the dynasty. We need to move from that. Mm -hmm. And how do you move from that? That is when the youth of this country become accountable. You need to ask yourself, this person, let's say person X, he's been there for 20, 30 years, then wakes up one morning and tells you, oh, I have the grand plan to change your life. He doesn't have any plan. So we need to change the narrative from we are leaders of tomorrow. Ram, there's no tomorrow without today. And there's no today without now. So you need to agree that first you are a leader today and now for, the, for you to become a leader tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We need to take the leadership of the country. Mm -hmm. And how do you do that? By becoming part and parcel of the decision making of the country. You change from being the meal and the menu and becoming an equal partner on the table so that you help in steering the country forward and offer alternative leadership. And if, like I told you, there is an opportunity, both sides are fighting for the young men and women. We are back to YK92. What we need to do as young men, it, we need to change from YK92, which was for Kanu, YK, Youth for Kenya. That is the only way to go forward. But, 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 but we already have um, youths that are in parliament, we have youth. Kenya young parliamentarians, we, we have so many caucuses uh, or, or other groupings that are there in parliament. Do you believe that Honorable Ruto is the alternative that you're talking about? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Thank you, Ram. Uh, there is one thing I love with the law students uh, and also lawyers. They don't want to be caught on their own. I, he just realized that. <laughs> no, but, but I said he's, he's not sure, meaning that there is a possibility he, he, just, he, he could just, be. You know, Ram, he just realized that. And he that could not be. That the, the narrative of Hustler was going to radicalize a given group. And that's why he was deviating from what he said. Now, Ram, what is happening is. Um, in as much as we say that there are youths in the parliament, those are not youths. Those mm. are just youthful parliamentarians, but they're not youths. Because what do you mean? Uh, when you talk of a youth, the constitution... They're are youths, my brother. Those are youthful <laughs> members in the parliament. <laughs> my friend here will tell you that the constitution spells what a youth should be. I, I, I want us to, 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 to take a look at the, this uh, man here, what he said. That is a member of parliament for Kiharu, Nindi Nyoro. Something took place during the weekend that took the country by storm. Let's take a look at this.